Hello and welcome to another installment of my thoughts. Today I'm going to share my thoughts uh, on John Wick, the graphic novel. So it's again a compilation of several uh, single issues and uh, compiled into a hardcover uh, collector edition. It's published by Dynamite. So let's take a look inside. So it's pretty nice though, you know, uh, it's, the covering and packaging is pretty good, you know, overall. It's uh, here the list of all the creators associated with this uh, project. It's been written by Greg, uh, Greg Park, who has written uh, the, you know, uh, Planet Hulk and James Bond uh, comics. Uh, the artwork is by Giovanni Valletta and Matt Gaudio. Uh, Let's take a look. So this is the uh, cover art of issue one of volume one, uh, whatever it was. So uh, the story is basically a prequel uh, to John Wick's character uh, that also uh, throws some light on his uh, childhood, uh, you know, before he became John Wick. But I'm not too sure is uh, if it's an official uh, prequel story. Or it's just in uh, you know comic book uh, adaptation uh, about the character. So since the movies doesn't mention anything about the uh, you know origin of the character, it's pretty hard to tell whether this is just like in one of uh, graphic novel uh, that deals with the origin of John Wick, or it's actually the backstory or official prequel uh, to the film. It's more or less shows how a little kid uh, becomes uh, John Wick after a clash with, uh, you know, uh, this uh, character called uh, Three Bills, uh, who he kind of crossed path in the channel there. Uh, there's somewhere in the pages, I think I will show you. There are three brothers. These are the three builds, basically three brothers who had some uh, this uh, agreement with Wick during his uh, childhood. So, basically, what I would say the story deals with how John Wick once again faces his past and come across the three bills, and it's all about that the conflict that arises because of that. Now, must say the story doesn't have any depth like the movies like if you have seen the John Wick movies there isn't much depth in the story but the action is amazing like if you have seen John Wick films it's it's a revolution like it's one of the best uh, action franchises that has come out of Hollywood uh, in recent years so mm, the only thing uh, you know it's a little disappointing because the action look good on screen but maybe not so much on uh, on, on the pages of a comic book because you know uh, you, you seem or you want some depth in the story as well which seems to be uh, missing I won't say it's bad or anything there's a lot of action uh, you know uh, in this uh, particular series uh, but uh, not much in the story so overall it's average i would say it's uh, pretty mediocre nothing that will blow your mind yes it does give you a glimpse about the character and uh, if you are interested to know how johnny become johnny i mean again it doesn't give you much detail about it it just uh, gives you a glimpse into his childhood and then uh, jumps to the future to the present day uh, where he you know faces off against uh, the three bills who, who, whom he encountered in his childhood so this is pretty much everything the artwork I don't know is again kind of uh, experimental or not the kind I really like it's not bad you know it's good it's good but uh, yeah, it's actually good. I mean, uh, no complaints about the artwork, uh, but maybe I like some uh, different style of artwork. Uh, you know, towards the end issues, the artwork will change a bit because of the change uh, in artist. As you can see, it's mentioned over here. The issue one and two uh, were uh, drawn by uh, Giovanni, and issue three and five were drawn by Matt. So I'm not sure issue four, uh, who, who drew issue four. 
anyways that's something I'll check out apart from that you also have all the variant covers uh, mentioned at the back uh, for all the volumes or the issues so you know you can see Keanu Reeves who played John Wick uh, in the films and uh, here's another variant cover photo cover and it also gives you uh, the name of the artist who uh, drew all this uh, cover so yeah so i would say overall uh, i'm neither impressed or nor disappointed with this particular book you know i love the film so yeah i don't mind having this uh, in my collection john wick in a different rendition apart from that you know it's it's completely subjective whether you want to purchase it or not or whether you want, you want to add it into your collection or not but from my side i would say it's just nothing more than a one-time read uh, that that's pretty much uh, suffices it anyways uh, that's that's all for today i don't want to add anything more to it Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, stay inside, sanitize your hands, uh, sanitize your hands, until next time, bye bye, take care.